Hello and welcome back. I thought I'd do a follow-up video. A couple of quick notes. I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit shorter than last time. And uh, I have actually up to, uh, at least I believe I have up my FPS so it should be a little bit smoother. First thing I actually want to do is uh, I put an annotation in my last video but I didn't show it. So I think I'm going to quickly and <laughs> some reason it wasn't running. There we go. This is the pit that I did mention the big block of just black nothingness. Which uh, as we can see here is just a huge lava waterfall now. When I originally built this area, like the house and everything, I used this area to mine the stone out of. I literally just picked a large area and just bottled it top to bottom. And then we go to my elevator going down. Very easy elevator, this. Very dare. A lot of people just do one lava waterfall, but you lose oxygen very quickly. If you do it like I've done it here, where you put one sign, one water. You can go up pretty easily and you never drown. You can go down as far as you need to go. Like if I want to go back up, I can just go back up at the same speed. So uh, yeah, this, is, this is the type of water elevator I use. It's really handy to have. See, and because we're too low, the, the mist comes in. And you're probably not going to be able to see it probably if I go up. But you can see where, how the mist activates like there. I would say about... That would be the perfect main area, um, lava root size there. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to show you. What I'm here to show you is what I've been up to with my hardcore world. Because I've been up to a lot. Uh, as you can see. Well, actually, hold on, it's the middle of the night, I think. Yeah, let's sleep. Right. First things first, what was my garden is now my chicken coop. I was hoping that I would have started getting grass. And um, basically, if you're wanting grass, there's two ways to get grass. Put it in the sunlight, or put water next to it. Those, the the bits that the wood slabs there, there is water underneath that. But I'm not getting grassland which is a bit worrying. Ah oh, well I'll figure something out. Um right. you may notice the walls have changed since I'll get into that in a minute. And I got my one pig. Cause I can't find a bloody carrot. Oh I can't find a carrot. It's, it's annoying. Yes I've uh, I also had to make myself some armor. Cause I've actually started to actively fight at night now because some of the stuff I need and what's cooking now again oh yes oh right what is different this haha <laughs> yes I mined out the the stairs the stairs the hill I mined away the hill to create myself a nice big house so basically I just removed everything that I wasn't needing. So, uh, yes. Still got like, a lot of hill here that I want to remove. The, see, this hill, I want, I want, I'm not going to fully remove it because I physically can't. I'll get into that in a second. But what I am going to do is I'm going to push it back a few blocks. And then like ramp it up so it's like still part of the hill. It's... The reason why I can't actively get rid of it is if I come round here. Yeah. Oh no, you appear to be on fire. If you drop a carrot, I'm going to be massively unhappy. Go on, aren't you? You're going to drop a carrot. No, he's not good. Zombies have a very low chance of dropping a carrot, which is what I've been 
looking into. Um, because there's only two real ways to get carrots currently. Find a village, which I've been looking at and can't seem to find anywhere. Or rare zombie drops. Ah, right. On top of my house now is now my garden. See, so I've got carrots, potato, lands to go there. This is going to be for like pumpkins or melons, as is over here. Pumpkins and melons over here. I always put these slabs over the water. The reason being, and uh, I don't have a hoe, so I can't really show. Yeah, I don't waste no diamonds or no hoes. Um, uh, again, a lot of people probably already know this, but if you jump up and down on a uh, fertilized land, on farmland, it gets rid of it. Of course, if you get stuck in the water, you've got to jump out, and it can accidentally get rid of it. So, I put these slabs, because no matter how many times I go up or down, on these slabs, it doesn't get rid of it. So, I find them really handy to have, to stop yourself from falling into strong water. The only mild pr problem is this. That's the only issue with it. Okay, let me just grab an apple and fix my hunger level. <laughs> Wanted to eat. Yes, and I made these. And this is all glass. The texture pack I use um, hollows out the glass and makes it look clear. Which is one of the reasons why I use it. I hate the original Minecraft glass. I really do. Got yeah, see, we've getting some beef, some leather, cocoa beans. I found, um, and I know where there is some jungle wood, so I might make a cocoa wall. That door's getting removed. That door was placed there, literally, because I was mining out this area, and I wanted it, and I wanted a way into my house when it turned dark. Um, that's what, and that's why it's still there. Cause when I push back this area, I want I want to be able to uh, quick access my house. Uh, this chest is just uh, that's just cob, dirt, and stone. I needed the stone to make the walls. Got loads of coal and charcoal. So I've been uh, axing the forest up. Ah, this forest is ripe for the picking again. Now, I love the big trees. I really do. Um, and I know a few people that when they started on Minecraft, they built their first house in a tree. So I know big trees can be quite useful. I love the I love the giant jungle trees. And here's something that you might not know. Um, when you see a four trunk tree like a a tree that's like that in size you can actually manufacture one of them the way you do it is you get four jungle tree saplings it has to be the jungle tree it doesn't work with any other tree to my knowledge and I've tried and I've actually haven't been able to get it but you take a jungle tree sapling place four of them in, a, in the square and then you feed them a bone meal. I'm not sure if it works if you just try and let them grow manually. But if you feed one a bone meal, it will instantly sprout up into a four trunk sized tree. So I've I discovered and I was really uh, happy when I discovered it. Yeah, I need to start getting some uh feathers. Actually I've got my uh, my chicken coop, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Got a bit of lag there. Yep, so if you want to. Ah, there we go, I can grab some over here. Oh crap, it's coming up dark. See, one of the reasons why I haven't been able to find a village is I haven't been. I've, uh, I tend not to stray too far from my house. Die, pig. Um, what I mean by. There's a skeleton nearby. Oh, she! Oh, crap! 
<sighs> Welcome to Carl has a heart attack, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'm marking this on my map and then I'm heading back to the house. That's another thing I, I do. You mark places where you may find of interest. Oh, oh God. I've completely forgotten what I was seeing now. Uh, I've, 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 oh, God. <laughs> oh, we got a zombie somewhere. Oh. Anyway, what was I seeing? Oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh. That that's literally Oh god If I had died on camera Oh wow if I had died there <laughs> Oh that would have been so perfect Just sitting there showing off like uh, my world deciding to uh, grab some jungle wood and then I die. <laughs> oh God, that would have been my dear. Oh. <laughs> Actually, is that? Ah, there it is. I knew I had some. Get them. Uh, something I like to do uh, it's really good for storage uh, block of irons um, you can also do it with gold as well you generally find you don't need to do it with gold as much because there's not that much gold but for iron it's handy to do Oh, I can't believe I almost died there. Okay. the time now uh, it's turning dark let's do a little bit of fighting shall we um, yeah what I'm th thinking about doing is oh actually I might not no I, know, I won't I won't do any fighting on camera um I've I've utterly lost my train of thought now and I do apologize. Um oh. Four. and well, it's in feathers and dyes, that's right. Wolves and dyes. Because bone meal is used as a dye for white. Skeleton over there. Great big effing field over here. Right. Uh, anyway, let's let's run a test, shall we? Got a nice open field here. One, two, three, four. 
Bow meal. One tree. Oh well. You see there. A little bit here. There we go. And because I'm a tiny bit of a sadist, let's go fight this skeleton. Haha, <laughs> miss me, scum. Victory is mine. Ah, creeper! <laughs> Must be something I can rob. Of your items, that's my job. Right. If you don't mind creepers exploding, uh, one of the ways I find is, uh, one of the ways I deal with them is a rather stupid way. I do this. <laughs> um, the reason why that's a really stupid way is that it dents your landscape, so I have to spend time fixing. But also, one of the things it does is it gets rid of any drops. So if I had fought them, I could have gotten gunpowder. Because I didn't fight them, I got nothing. Oh well. Oh crap. Anyway, that's it for me. I shall talk to you later. See you later.